The ability to branch out to multiple aspects appealed to me as a physician. I like to help people, and I like science, and, and I enjoy meeting people and talking to people and helping people. It goes back to Mayo Clinic Rochester. When I started there, I wanted to be a cardiologist, but I had a rotation and I really enjoyed it because I love general internal medicine and every kind of disease goes to the lungs. It also gave me the opportunity to practice general internal medicine, especially in the intensive care unit, where you have to take care of every organ of the body. And I think when you go into medicine, you look at examples of folks in medicine that you want to be someday. Uh, someday I'd like to be at their level. All of them influenced me and said, why don't you consider pulmonary instead of cardiology? And that's, that's how I ended up in pulmonary. It also gave me the opportunity to be at the start of uh, transplantation, both liver transplant and lung transplantation, which was very intriguing and very uh, uh, interesting and uh, difficult as we were starting to transplant, which is, thank God, our transplantation is more and more and more successful for folks that need those transplants. As I look back, Every step in your life is an accomplishment. I look back at high school graduation, huge accomplishment. Graduating from the University of Notre Dame, graduating from Chicago Medical School, going on to my residency at Mayo Clinic and then fellowship there at Mayo Clinic and then going on to being on faculty at the University of California, San Francisco, and then the great experience I had getting recruited to Indiana University School of Medicine and then uh, getting recruited up to Ascension St. Vincent to some of my proudest moments of taking our specialty of prevention of disease and keeping people healthy, but taking that same uh, practice to all employees and their families and building worksite clinics for the employees and their families to improve the health of the company and to lower their healthcare costs. The number one predictor of someone's health is a job. So if we can create more jobs by keeping people healthy, that's my biggest accomplishment. Well, you're only on this earth for a short period of time. And you have to give back because you're part of this community. And we have to have a better community, a better nation. And the more you give back, the better your community is gonna be. And I like to give back because so many people have given to me. I from the standpoint of my parents and what they gave to me. And then in a very important part of my life was my marriage to my wife, Nancy, and what she gives to me. My first camping trip as a Boy Scout, uh, my Scout Master was Larry Ingle. And I still remember that like yesterday. And I learned how to tie all kinds of knots. And I have to say, I still use those lessons from Scout Master Ingle. On, on tying knots. That was a important time in my life. I think the principles that I learned through Scoutmaster Engel, I continue to use today. I am extremely honored and humbled to be given this award, especially in the presence of James Morris, who I consider one of my heroes, and what he has done for the world, and what he has done for this nation and for the state of Indiana. Allison Melanchthon, I'm still amazed at how many things she can do and how many plates she can keep spinning, especially what she did for this city with the Super Bowl and now with the Indianapolis 500. And then I'm always amazed with Andy Wilkinson and what he's doing for scouting and how much he is dedicated to the scouting and to the youth of Central Indiana. I'm honored, humbled, and kind of feel like I'm not up to their level of what they have succeeded.